Okay, that's, I think that's a whole lot better. It's not as jarring because the motion blur makes up kind of the data in between that our mind is kind of skipping over as we watch it uh, before. Um, but we still have a problem. We have this black underneath our footage. So I found a pretty cool technique to take care of that without having to do any matte painting or without having to do any en enlarging of the clip. And with the clip selected, go up to the effects menu and go down to stylize and down to a plugin called Motion Tile. Now, Motion Tile, I don't know what its actual purpose is, but if we go ahead and turn on this mirror edges and change the output width to 125 and the height to 125 also, because that's how much our magnitude is, so the position can possibly be offset more than um, 25 pixels, which is exactly what this plugin is saying. And the reason you don't want to just make it 150 is because After Effects does actually have to render out these pixels. So just to keep it, you know, don't do more than you need to do, basically. So anyway, as you can see, we filled in the data here um, by using this Motion Tile plugin. Now, I just want to remind you of a few things here. I'm going to shut off the motion blurs. Um, this technique works, um, it works in a lot of cases, but it's not perfect. As you can see up here, we're getting kind of the mirror of this slanted edge, which is kind of causing a point. Now, because of the motion blur in this shot, it won't really be prominent at all. And of course, it is beyond the action safe, but it's a good idea to keep this in mind is that this plugin is not going to work for everything. And especially when you have major offsets, you can really start seeing the mirroring of the effect. But anyway, just keep that in mind and let's go ahead and move on here.